I am going to be doing a live tutorial today of my new flower that I'll be posting to my Etsy shop as soon as I uh, have the uh, tutorial ready for it. And I will just need a couple of minutes to load up my uh, video and then I'm going to start on with the tutorial. So give me a couple of minutes and in the meantime you can admire my beautiful layered flower and I will be right with you. It just takes a while to get everything going, but once I do, I am golden. It typically takes me a bit to uh, get everything set up. I'm a one woman show, so just uh, please be patient. I'm gonna get going very quickly. I'm almost there. I just want to be able to share it in a couple of the groups and then I'll get going. Okay, and just one more and that's it guys. I'm going to start the actual presentation. Okay, I don't know if anybody else is watching, but I need to get going. So I am just going to uh, with my tutorial. Any case, welcome. My name is Olga and I am the technical creative brain behind the uh, um, Maker of Beauty. I have designed a new flower and um, unlike my usual self, I'm actually giving it a name and I'm going to name it Love or you can call it Heart Flower. The reason to that is because uh, part of the petal has a design that represents the heart. So I'm going to be working on this flower and we are going to do three layers of uh, um, where two layers is one size and then the last layer it was reduced by one inch so this is actually going to be my medium and this are my large petal so the large petal and the medium petal is still is actually the same as a large size I'm gonna overlap it and you guys can see that it is exactly the same size and uh, this is because it's a white flower, this is six inches that I'm working with the width, and it's uh, almost six inches height. And uh, the last layer, I reduced it by one inch. Uh, let me see if I have one that I have not curled yet, and I believe I do. So I'm just gonna put it like this, so you guys can see it. So <clears throat> the package that I'll be putting up in my store, it'll have several pieces, right? So you will have this, what I call my base flower. And if you want to, you can actually create a whole flower just with this one petal. And then I have my heart flower. And as well, I will have the backing. This is just in case if you don't want this to be left by itself as is, and if you want to use the backing as I have it right now. And then I made a whole bunch of the tags since I was sitting in the figuring it out, all kind of different shapes with the heart. And I'll show you later what kind of tags I have included. So without further ado, I'm gonna get going with building the flower. I have already prepared a number of them, but I just wanted to leave a couple of the 
petals to show you how you can treat it and what you can do with it. So with this one being so wide, there is a number of things that you can do. Uh, because I am using both of the petals, you know, the solid one and the one with the lines cut in it, I want this to be fairly open so that you can see subsequent layers, you know, but for example, you could style it where you curl one side up and one side down, right? So it would look something like this. And then the subsequent layers, you could be also um, cutting them um uh, you could either interchange right so one layer it goes this way then the next layer you would flip it that way and just continue on like this you could just curl the petal downward on both sides which is what i am doing today so it would look like this or you could choose curl both of them inward I don't think you should curl it too much so that you don't see the edges, right? Since um, the beauty of the petal is having all these beautiful waves going around it, but it's entirely up to you. So for this one, I'm doing it outwardly. So I'm just gonna quickly show you just one petal, how I have it. So I'm gonna give it a dab of a glue. And I am working with six petals for each layer, but this is definitely a very good petal to easily make a very large fluffy flower, even with almost, you know, one size. Uh, like if you wanted to go for 20 inch flower, you could easily do your base to be like um, 10 inches, right? And then have maybe around eight to nine of this for each layer. And you could do easily three layers of the same size. And then the last two layers, you know, reduce it maybe by one inch or uh, one inch and a half. I'm gonna take a pause just for one second because I wanna see if uh, my is anybody saying anything to me, or if anybody's even if anyone is there. <gasps> because I wanna, if people have any questions or such, I don't wanna miss it. Okay, it doesn't look like that anybody has joined in, but oh well, I am going to miss someone. Actually guys, give me one more minute, I'll be right back with you. I do wanna share it in one more group. Sorry guys, I'm sorry about this pause. And I'm saying guys, just in case if somebody is there, although I don't see any comments, so I'm assuming that nobody has joined in, in which case it's okay that I'm taking a pause because I do wanna post it um, in a few other places. So I'm almost there. I kind of wish that, that you could share it in several places all at once instead of one by one, but it is what it is. There is nothing that I can do. Okay. 
Um, I'm just going to keep on going. All right, you guys. So we have our large petal first round ready. I'm going to show you how I do the backing for my other petal. So I use what's called glitter glue. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, because there is not that much of a real estate space for the uh, backing, right? It's pretty tight squeeze. So before you glue it on, definitely look and see what it looks like. Just, you know, make sure that you, you have an idea of like how to position it. Because this glue, while it dries up pretty good, it will still leave marks if you put too much of it, right? So just sort of like look in the back of where you wanted to position it and uh, uh, to make sure that it's completely covering your walls on the side, your spaces on the side. And, um, it, you know, you could use, I guess, the double side tape, but I'm not a big fan of it. I rarely have good experiences with it. It always ends up doing, uh, coming undone. So I absolutely love this product. And um, it actually has a very nice metal pointy head, which I love because my kids have played with it. So what I do is that, you know, I do a pretty generous amount in the middle and, uh, but everywhere else, you know, I just sort of like do this dot, dot, dots. Um, on uh, edges, I try to do very judicious, very, very minimalistic with my dots because what I don't want is for the glue to spill on the other side of the petal. So I have this ready and then Oops, I'm just going to position it and uh, glue it on. One word of advice is that if you're using shimmery paper, not all shimmery paper is, you know, comes with a shimmer on both sides. It can be just shimmer on only one side. So then make sure that you are... Uh, positioning it the right way so that your shimmer is coming through. Um, so in that regard, you know, it's easier when you have a paper that is shimmery on both sides. Okay, so I have this done. And uh, what I'm going to do is put uh, my cut, the slit of the petal a little bit higher, which is I'm doing that right now. And I'm going to bring it like right about to uh, where the beginning of the very last heart Be um, start. So this is just going to be an easy overlap. Uh, before I have cut it out some additional petals and I have tried to have them uh, curl a little bit further, right? I tried to curl it this way and I've also tried to, to do the in world. I didn't really like the look of it because once you start curling it, you don't really see the heart so much anymore. And just to curl this part alone is a little bit difficult because at this point, you know, you have two thick layers of a paper glued together. So I'm just going to leave it exactly how it is. And then for the very last layer, it's right here. I left one um, undone so I can demo how I'm handling it. So it's also pretty high slit. And um, I'm choosing not to have a backing for this one, but you could absolutely do the backing as well. You would just have to size it up um, the right way. And a tad of a glue, gentle overlap, and that's it. And also, of course, you know, with this one, it's very difficult to um, do any type of the curling. So this is perfect just the way it is. Okay. And now we're going to be assembling our petal. By the way, you could absolutely start with this as your first layer, right? And then have this as your subsequent, but I just don't think that would be the look that I like because, you know, with the petal being so wide, it would absolutely close everything that you have in there. And, you know, you wouldn't be able to see the heart so much, which is why this for me is going to be the first layer. So my base is about 
seven inches if you are somebody who is just starting out you know i highly recommend you know if your petal height is six inches set your base to at least eight inches what that will do is give you an opportunity to have a lot of real estate space to work with and so then you know you're not like gluing your uh, flower like literally to the edges in order to have enough of the um, space for the for, for the rest of your flowers and I see this mistake like often you know people will literally set the base to be the same size as the height of the largest petal and it's just not enough real estate space and a flower looks overcrowded um, if you want to make fluffy flower you're better off just have nice additional layer but not you know where you um as opposed to like trying to stuff the petal in a limited space now i don't think that i will need to be tucking anything in but because it's fairly large flower and just to be on the safe side i am going to not glue this side just so that you know i can tuck it in and have that very nice seamless look so and you can glue it on this side and leave this is one open. It really depends on, you know, whichever way uh, you're going to be gluing the subsequent uh, petal. So I'm going to go clockwise. So my first petal is in. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it because it's six flowers. I mean, because it's a six petals, I'm going to, uh, glue the other one is right across it and I'm running out of there a little bit of a glue so I'm going to load it up in the glue again and so once again what I'm gonna do is you know I'm going to leave this untucked just in case if I need to tuck something in I don't think I will need to but just to be on the safe side um, I'm going to not glue it and I'm gluing it about, you know, an inch and a half into it. That way, it will allow me to uh, have a fairly sturdy flower. I also want to bring your attention to that my base. I actually need to glue it, but uh, this is a good example. The thicker the base is, the less likely your flower to be to flop, right? And so, you know. Um, if I was to make this flower for like backdrops or even like put it on the wall, I would actually use a cardboard and would cut my base out of the cardboard and then put the red over top of it to cover the color. You can also just grab, you know, a couple of a sheets of a thick paper, like the 100, um, the, the 100 LBS weight is, you know, absolutely great. Oh, hi, Dina. Thanks for joining. Um, that, that would be a good one to uh, use for your centers. Okay, and the other ones are just going to go right in between. Okay, so it doesn't look like that we're going to be tucking anything in. But of course, better safe than sorry. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a glue. And here is my first petal. Actually, it's my third petal, but it's my first petal in between. How are you, Dina? Dina, can you hear me? Because um, many times when I start this tutorial, I can't really validate the volume very well. So if you can hear, just type it in yes. That way I know for sure you can hear me. All right. Here's my other one. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two petals because I know that there won't be anything that needs to be tucked in. Oh, I went very generous with the glue over here, but that's not a problem. This will absolutely get covered up. I'm actually gonna try to get rid of the excess of the glue now. Okay, Just don't do it as soon as you see the glue sipping under your petal because you will burn your fingers and you don't want that. So I have two more to glue on. Um, 
um so if you're just somebody who's who if you are somebody who's just starting out with the flowers one thing you should remember is that when you are gluing your subsequent petals make sure that you're gluing them proportionate to your base like you know don't look at your other petal that's to make sure that you don't all of a sudden start like you know try to circle it by looking at what you have glued on before i mean definitely take it into account but you know you need to glue them all pretty much the same way now if you had wanted this to be fuller petal you know even more than this then you would just do uh, still keep the same proportion but now you would just uh, move everything shift everything over so slightly and you would let the petals overlap and instead of six you could do seven or if you want it to be really 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 fluffy then you could do eight but i think with uh, eight petals you would probably be running out of the real estate space just a little bit so then maybe i would increase the base at least by an inch okay so that's it and now we are going to glue the rest of other uh, petals just remember right that the my what is my second layer and typically medium size in this case it's still the same size as my first layer which is you know you would typically call it as a large one so i know that at this point right i will need to tuck it in and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave the real estate space to make sure that I have it somewhere to tuck it in and I'm gluing it right in between the petals there we go so I'm gonna pull it in just a little bit more Um, one of the ways to, you know, make this petal to appear larger would have been to have not as big of a slit, but have it shorter and uh, overlap more so that your petal would stand up a little bit more. I don't particularly myself like that look very much, so I tend not to do it, but uh, sometimes it's useful. And you, you definitely, you know, should know about it. And I believe I just moved my camera. So I'm going to have to readjust it to make sure that you are able to see what it is that I'm doing. I'm going to shift my camera just a little bit. I'm sorry if you guys uh, experience some shaking. Okay. And that's going to be a lesson for me not to actually have my um so i really do need to start bringing them a little bit more inside um i ended up putting my camera sort of right in front of me and that is not the best place for the camera because i end up hitting it So now that I started to glue it on, guys, right, I can see that I probably should have brought this in a little bit more, but, uh, you know, it's still fine. It's just that because they are so, because they are the same size, what's happening is that, you know, you don't really see the beauty of the, uh, um, the, la the petal behind it. And if I just glue it on a little bit lower, then it would be... It would show the petal more, which I'm trying to compensate by bringing the subsequent ones ever so slightly, but not so much so that it's, you know, drastically a big, huge difference. So we all make mistakes. It's just a matter of knowing how to handle them. Um, and of course, you know, it's like when you don't have two different color petals going on, it's easier to cover up those imperfections. It's a little bit harder to do it when you have several 
different colors incorporated in one flower. Okay, so if you notice that, you know, I am tucking this in, and the reason I'm tucking this in is that, uh, you know, if you have it over the first petal, it just doesn't have as nice and a clean of a look, whereas by tucking it in, it does, and I'm just gonna complete the circle by giving a very generous amount of a glue. It's a tad hot, so I'm gonna use something else other than my fingers to press it down. So, okay. And uh, you guys can see it, you know, it's not flopping very well, I mean very much, which is absolutely great. And uh, uh, I also wanted to tell you that this alone would have been a great flower where you just have this as your single layer and then have like a big fluffy center um, in here right that just would work great or even you know I have maybe um, a very flat fringe center and then another flower in the middle so I'm just pointing it all out guys you know as a an idea of what you could do and what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to curl up my lower petal just a little bit more okay and so now we have the last petal to do and this one I'm just gonna bring all the way in and it's going to be you know um, a bit of a cluster of them and I don't think I will actually need all six of them but just to be on the safe side you know I printed out six okay so again this is being put in between the petals I know that I will need to leave the um, I will need to tuck this in and so I'm leaving this corner unglued for now but the subsequent petals you know definitely gets glued on lot of hearts guys they kind of uh, poking at you everywhere and so you just keep, keep on going okay let me just get rid of all this glue in here okay well it looks like we're ending up using all six of this so that's just great. Gonna overlap this one a little bit here. And here's my last petal. Okay, just right here. I'm going to close this off by gluing the last one in here. All right, and we are just about done, guys. So at this point, you have a couple of the uh, options. Uh, you know, because you do want to see like all of the cutting that you have, one of the options would be use a uh, brooch for a center, which is what I'm trying to, you know, um, this is probably like a tad too small. Um, you would need something bigger, um, you know, maybe something like this, or I have like this foam rose, so you know, you could put that as your centerpiece right there. Or what I love to do is you put another small flower inside as a centerpiece. Oh, what are you going to do? A flat print so I'm gonna move the flower aside and I'm going to quickly show you how I make the uh, printed and this one is going to be 
You know, I'm going to make it, hmm, this is a hard call. I'm just going to make it simple, okay, to keep it simple for myself and for you guys. So, I'm going to move side to side, right there. Oh, God. I don't know, guys, I'm not so sure if this French is going to work very well because it doesn't look like that my Cricut did a very good job cutting through the uh, paper, but we'll give it a shot and we'll see what happens. So this is just a simple French, right, where you need the edges to the edges. And I'm going to give it a bit of a dab of a glue to finish it up in the center. You don't need to have a glue all through the entire, uh, along the entire lens, only because you will use more glue as you roll it, and so yep. it'll get glued up. All right, guys, I don't think this is gonna be a very good fringe for me, because you can see it, that the blade didn't fully go through all the entire paper, and that I not it's not every apart and i apologize for the noise in the background that's my husband the root cause of the noise right now he's surprised and he's trying to you know communicate to me with his body language and what's going on because he completely must he must have completely forgot that i asked him um, to be quiet because i'm going live but oh well guys the uh, fringe is not going to work, and the reason the fringe is not going to work is because, uh, well, this is a bit of a disaster. So we're going to go with the first option, which is take a flower and put that in for your centerpiece. I'm going to um, cut off this one because I'll maybe glue it on because I might end up using it for something else later. So that's what it would look like for the centerpiece and you could just press it down I'm not sure I'm not certain if I want to glue it on because I think I do want the gold uh, centerpiece in this but that what the new flower looks like guys and um, the package is going to be going live shortly in my Etsy shop and I want to show you the tags that I have designed to go along with it and um, this is just as an idea for a kids project because I craft a lot with my kids. So there is just a heart with the uh, wave going all over it. Then there is, I guess, a dolly heart. And it's just, you know, the polka dot within the polka dot within the polka dot. Um, and then there is another heart with, uh, you know, dots going on the edge. And for this one, you know, you could leave it alone as, as is. You could, uh, you know, combine it with, with another one. This one is not gonna look very good because they're same size, but you can you can quite see what I'm trying to do. But I'm gonna have my kids tomorrow, you know, glue this on and uh, sign their friends' names and give it to each one of them. And then I also have this. This actually came straight, if you guys recognize it, that's directly from the flower itself. And so this one, you know, you could treat it by itself like this, or if you wanted to, you know, you could glue it on something else and you would have two different colors and put that on like that. So whichever works, whichever way works for you. So all of that is going to be available in my Etsy shop um, tonight. Once I upload all of the tutorials and everything, and uh, thank you for watching it, guys. Whomever ended up, uh, whomever ends up watching it, and if you have any questions, you know, probably the best thing to do is to leave the comment on the video itself, and by all means, you know, sh um, ask away any technical questions you might have for me. Thank you. Take care. Happy future Valentine. Bye.